you. All right. All right. Ray, you're a Midwest guy playing, uh, <laughs> playing Notre Dame in Indiana. What does uh, what Notre Dame kind of mean to you? Big game, all that good stuff. I'm sure you grew up yeah. deeply watching them. I mean, I grew up watching them all the time, Big Ten country, stuff like that. I mean, obviously they're not in the Big Ten, but it's a local school. I knew a bunch of kids when I was coming out that ended up getting scholarships in Notre Dame. I played against some kids that went to Notre Dame and things like that. And I mean, it's a historic program. They got movies, Rudy, stuff like that. We didn't watch that. so. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I mean, always was, so it's super exciting to get to play them for the third year in a row. As I said, yeah, I mean, how cool is this? Your third year playing? Yeah, it's got to be kind of cool. ABC game, I mean, this is this is what you wish for growing up as a kid, so it's a big game for me. Was last year your first time in the stadium? It was, yeah. That was the first time coming coming down the tunnel, stuff like that. I mean, it's a historic place. It was. Uh, I took a bunch of pictures and stuff like that. It was, it was a cool scene for me. Ray, is, is there a part of you that's like, I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase this, but just like forget Notre Dame, like, you know, because it, it's almost like there's a lot of hype because of the name brand, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's what happens out on the field and it's what you guys control, not necessarily what they do. Yeah, absolutely. It comes down to what we do. It's, I mean, it has what they do, what their game plan is, what their strengths are, and things like that. But it comes down to how we play, how we execute, and things like that. That's that's going to dictate if we win or lose this game. They kind of uh, revamped their offensive line. Was there anything you saw in that Cal game that kind of that kind of looked like they got their continuity back? Yeah, I mean, it's Notre Dame offensive line. They've produced multiple first-round picks in the last five, ten years. I consider it like O-line U. They've, they've produced great O-linemen. Every year, I, this is my third year playing them in a row. They're always a big physical group, and they play as one, and, and their technique's great. They're some of the be best technicians I've played. So it's going to be a good game. It'll be a good challenge for us up front. And to that, <clears throat> Mac made a big deal out of the fact two years ago that they were more physical both lines of scrimmage and, mm -hmm. and it brought it up again yesterday talking to us sort of saying that's where you guys need to eventually get to. How much progress do you think you guys have made on your side of the line of scrimmage and getting to that point? I think we've made great progress. I think we matched them from a physicality standpoint and in two years when we two years ago when we played them I mean it was an old team they ended up playing Alabama in the playoffs. Their whole line was basically seniors across the board. They had some injuries when they came in and played us, and even the guys that filled in were some older guys. And I mean, O-line, D-line, that's, that's what they take pride in. They want to win the line of scrimmage, and that's how Notre Dame wins games. So I think we've done a good job, and I think we're going to find out on Saturday how much progress we've made when we play them. What's been the main focus for the defense over the last two weeks, the bye week, and getting better, like from your standpoint, defensive line? Um, I think we went back, we identified some things that we struggled with, and um, we worked on those last week during the bye week, and, and then we started to kind of settle in on Notre Dame, watch the Cal game, kind of get a feel for what they do. We obviously watched the games before that they played, and I think it was just identifying what the defense did as a whole, what gashed us, what plays hurt us, coverage, up front, runs, things like that, and then we just kind of went piece by piece and kind of worked drills and things like that to work on them to get better at those things. What kind of things do you think? Gave you all trouble up front that you picked out from the first three games? Um, I think in, in terms of like what we were doing, I think we had some, some games where we kind of had some sloppy footwork and things like that as the game went on. Um, I think we've always brought good physicality and things like that. But um, And then just guys doing their job. I mean, during a game, bullets are flying. Guy might pop a gap. Guy might shoot the wrong gap on a blitz or something like that. So just things like that, just cleaning things up. Coach Chizik talked earlier this week about taking that period in the App State game in the middle of the game where you played so well and got off the field, taking the fourth quarter at Georgia State mm -hmm. where you shut them down and it builds from that. Can you identify with that and, and take from from those periods? Yeah, you got to take from the positive, but you also got to look at the negatives in those games and just kind of look at both things. And I think it shows that we have the capability to be that defense. It's hard to stop offenses with the rules and, and the advantages that they get. So we got to do what we can, play as hard as we can, do our jobs. And um, I think we have the talent to really be a great defense. We just got to keep getting better week by week. Max said after the Georgia State game that the, the success you guys had in sudden change defense in that game 
after the three turnovers and then the failed fourth down. He only gave up three points. He said he thought that the group played a little bit more of an edge on the field. How do you apply that to have that level of edge at all times? Yeah, that's that's something that I, I wish I had the answer to, to just say I wish we had that every single game, every single moment, whatever it is. But I think it's just playing it's it's a it's a mentality. It's a state like you just gotta mentally be kind of have an edge to you, have an edge for every game, no matter who it is, and just play the same way every single time. And, and however the cards shake, they shake. But I think it's just playing with a mindset of just being, kind of being mean out there, having, having an edge to yourself. Playing against Corey Danner in practice, what has he shown you this, this year just in terms of what he's doing on the opposite side of the ball? I think he's doing great things. And I think one thing that Corey's really done is he's kind of brought the group together. I think that was one thing with the O-line the last couple of years. We had great guy. I mean, NFL draft picks and stuff like that, but I just don't think there was just kind of that togetherness. And I feel like Corey's kind of come in and really kind of brought the group together and they're kind of all on the same page. And I think that's something that he doesn't really get a lot of credit for because he wouldn't really like think that of him, but he, I think he's really kind of got everybody on the same page. The center's the, the leader of the whole line, making all the calls, checks, and things like that. So I think he's really brought some, some great stuff to the whole line this year. Right, when you look back at the, the Notre Dame game up there last year, is that sort of, I don't know, like emblematic of all those games that got away? I mean, you, you had a lead in the second half, it was a close game, you, you know, and you just, you just couldn't finish it out. I mean, does that stick in your mind as something that, like, sort of, is indicative of the whole season last year? Yeah, it was it was something that happened to us a lot, unfortunately. But I mean, we've we we looked at it, we moved on, and I mean, it's it's a new team, it's a new era, and uh, we got a lot of young guys that are stepping up. So, I mean, it's a, it's a whole new culture here, and um, I don't I don't plan on that happening anymore this year if we if we can stop it. Man, I know Powell is still young, but what would you say he means to this defense already? Yeah, I mean, he's he's the Mike backer. He makes all the calls and checks and things like that. Kind of similar to what I said about Corey. He's really kind of the, the guy calling the shot, similar to what Gimmel was for us last year. So, I mean, he's really stepped into the leadership role of the, of the defense and just, I mean, it's hard being a Mike backer just playing. I mean, when you got to get the signals, make the calls, move the D-line and things like that, it's a, it's a hard job to do. So, I mean, he's done a great job so far. And he's been one of our best players week in and week out for us. Ray Power said down at Georgia State. Power said you guys heard all the mess everybody was talking about the defense from the, mm -hmm. the App State game. Do you get tired of hearing people putting you guys down? Yeah, I mean, I try not to look at it, but also I believe we have a good defense. Have we not played to our standard? I believe at some points we have, and at some points, like in App State in the fourth quarter, we didn't. At Georgia State, there were some points we did. But to me, it's just motivation, honestly, because I don't, I don't have the the thought to where it's like. We don't have the guys here. We don't have the capability of being a very good defense. So it just motivates me. That's really all it is. I think it's more motivation than anything. Could this be like a, a big step, stepping stone or statement win if, if you were to beat Notre Dame? Yeah, I mean, just getting the 4 and 0 would be would be a huge accomplishment for us. Whether it's Notre Dame or anybody else, I mean, Notre Dame, their record isn't the team they are, nor is it the talent that they have. They've got very good players and. I mean, anybody can be beat if you guys are following college football. It's <laughs> it's crazy. So I think um, I think it's just gonna. We're just focused on being four and zero. If we can do that, it will be a big step for us. Ray, one of those great players is Michael Mayer. What have you seen from him um, the past two games against Ohio State against Howard? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a very good player. You're referring referring to the tight end. Yeah. yeah, he's. I mean, I've played him since I've been here. He started as a true freshman. He's. I mean, they were talking about him being a first-round guy when I first played him. So, I mean, he um, he's really kind of the X factor in the game to where if you let him get going, he can really he can really take over games, and, and he does some of the dirty work with blocking and things like that. So, I mean, we definitely have to stop him to, to slow down this offense. You guys good? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, right. Great stuff, Thank you. Thank you, Mike.